what I wanted to talk about was like, what do championship teams and championship players have in common? Think about that for a minute. Like, what do championship teams, like, I'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with and know about teams. Let's just say, for instance, Beach Boys right now, they undefeated. It's a good chance they can go to the state and win. All right? I'm from Memphis. It's a lot of good teams. I know that's in Memphis that had good records. They had a specific type of team. Um, and it's a good chance that they could go to state and win. So... I don't think that's a question that I don't think a lot of us just ask or know. Like, I think for the most part, we just naturally good at something. And it's like, all right, that's a good team. They got good players put together. Like, they can probably go to state, you know. They got a lot of they, they got a lot of their players from an AAU team. So, they can, they can go to state. But that's what I want y'all to think about, man. Because I just want to know. I want to know what y'all thinking and how y'all thinking. I'll tell y'all what I think in a minute and my little pointers I got about what do a championship and what do a championship team and a championship player look like. Because they all have they all have some things in common. Even if it's a really, really good team and they go far and they really don't win state, they still have something in common with the team that would win state is just the other team was probably just a little bit better or they just maximize a little bit more than the other team in, in a certain area. Championship team, it's, it's, it's a, a few things on my end that I've just seen from teams that got great chemistry. There's like a real championship a championship team. They got a high skill level. I, I didn't say the whole team. I didn't say the whole team, but championship teams have a pretty good, decent, high skill level, all right? And they got the will to win. They got team camaraderie. They got confidence. Um, they got a great coaching style. You know, those are things that make up a, a championship team that I know a few things that I would say that make up championship teams. Championship player, you know, again, you got to be highly skilled or uh, highly poised. You got to ha have a, a very high IQ. Uh, you got to be able to control the flow of the game. And then you also got to be aware of the type of flow that the team you're playing against like, if they're a fast-paced team, if they're a slow team, they're more organized team, they run plays. Like, to be a championship player in a championship te team, these are all things that you got to kind of take into consideration in order to be able to keep advancing to that high stage to be able to win. Uh, it takes more than just being, oh, yeah, man, let's go out here and hoop, blah, 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 et cetera. Sometimes it work, you know, especially for teams that may be in the lower division. Uh, sometimes it may work. But for the most part, it's very specific things that I've seen that come in, like with championship teams and championship players. If I'm going to use the term get hit in the mouth. But if you're, if you're on the court and, you know, you got a team that may score two or they might hit, let's just say, for instance, they hit three threes back to back. And as soon as the game started and you down 9-0, I've actually seen teams and been to games where they body language automatically, automatically go downhill. It's the first quarter. We, the team they're going against only hit three threes, so they down 9-0, and they already looking down, pounding, you know, looking like they're ready to walk off the court like the game over with. So you definitely got to have hard and high motor um, and, and know how to fight and push through adversity when it comes to being a championship player. And it's, it's, it's more than just hooping, all right? It's more than just hooping. Anybody can hoop. You get to a certain level, you get to a certain point, especially right now we're in regional play. Like, the more you win, the more you keep advancing and the tougher the teams get. All right? You're not playing those slaps when you get in the regionals. Like, you got to come with your A game or you're going straight to the crib. Hey, and you got to have a team camaraderie. Like, you know, if you got a, if you, if you got a team not really gelled together, it's only so long before something exposes itself or before something happened, before the team start falling apart. So you got to have guys and girls that's on the team that, that, that know how to win and that want to win regardless of, you know, if, if somebody likes somebody or if they don't like someone. I've, I've been to so many games this year with everything opening back up from COVID. And there's only a few games that I've been to where, I, where I've seen like a player just like playing with an extremely high motor, you know? And when I say playing with a high motor, like, they, they, their IQ is high. Uh, they in control of the game. 
They want the ball in their hands. They're not selfish. It's a difference. It's a difference, all right? You can have the ball in your hand all day and be selfish, or you can have the ball in your hand all day because you know you that person. You know you that guy. You know you that girl. You won't want the ball in nobody else's hand because you know you're going to get a bucket. Okay? For instance, like when I went to Memphis three weekends ago, Chandler Jackson, their Christian Brothers, uh, Christian Brothers High School, He's a he's a he's a championship player. He's a he's on a he got a championship team. All right, he know what to do. Chandler is the perfect example of a championship player. All right, he know how to communicate. He talked to his team. He talked to the refs. He talked to the coaches. He know how to get his teammate involved, and and most importantly, he know his team personnel. He know if they down five before halftime, and it's thirty seconds on the clock. He know that he don't want the ball in nobody else's hands but his hands because he's trying to get a bucket. That's how a championship player think. And it's not even a championship game. It's just his mentality. That's how he is. That's how he play. You know? So to, in order to be a championship player and to play on the championship team, you got to have people that's built up with that, with, with that like-minded mentality. You, If you're making a soup, it's specific things that you put in that soup for you to want it to taste a, a certain type of way. It's the same thing with a team and with a player. If you got a team, it's certain people and it's certain players that you got to put together on that team in order to produce wins and to be a championship team. If you're a player, it's certain qualities and in, in it's certain habits and it's certain things and skills that you got to have in order to be a championship type of player in order to win games and, and, and go on the state championship run. You can't just pop up out of nowhere and just be like, man, yeah, man, we better go to state. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Especially in basketball, because basketball is not a single a single person sport. Different, but you definitely got to have that team camaraderie when it comes to being the championship team. If your team can't gel together, or if they can't, if y'all can't stick up for one another, like when adversity hit, when you losing or when you down ten in a fourth quarter with three minutes on the clock, oh, it's over with. If you don't have that player on your team that can get a book and it's playing with a high motor and know how to get his teammates involved, know how to communicate, know how to talk to the coaches, know how to talk to the reps. Man, this these are all the things that I've seen in 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 top notch players and championship type players. And in championship type teams, like they they play their role, bro. Like nobody trying to do nothing extra. Like everybody contributing to to get a win. And a perfect example of that is Bartlett team in Memphis, Bartlett boys team. That's a perfect example of a team that has great camaraderie and they gel together.